Hey there, my name is Gardner, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate with Linode. And today I wanted to talk to you about getting uh, ServerWand set up as a one-click app on Linode's cloud manager. ServerWand is a web interface that allows you to create multiple sites on a single server while also managing applications and firewall settings, databases, backups, user accounts, cron jobs, SSL, and all kinds of other things in an intuitive web interface. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is log into the Linode Cloud dashboard. Now, if you don't have a Linode Cloud account set up, you can use the link in the description and you'll get a couple dollars worth of credit to get you started. So once you're logged into the Linode Cloud dashboard, go ahead over here to Marketplace and we're going to uh, wait for this to load. So let's come down here and select Server Wand. We'll scroll down. Now there aren't many options that you actually need to uh, fill out here in order to get server one set up. The biggest choice you'll have to make is where do you want to have uh, your, your server one instance live? I'm gonna choose Newark, New Jersey, and then I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna pick a Linode plan. Now you can use any size Linode uh, to set up a server one instance. I'm gonna go with the four gigabyte Linode uh, just to give myself a little bit of uh, play. Let's scroll down here and we're gonna you know, there's not much else we need to uh, specify, but we are going to set up a root password here. And we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and create this uh, Linode. And it should take a few minutes to provision. Okay, it looks like Server Wand has finished uh, provisioning. The next thing that you're going to want to do is uh, head over to serverwand.com slash login, and you're going to actually uh, create a new account if you don't have one already. And uh, we're just going to use... I'll reply server wand at heavyelement.io and we'll just use any random password. Now that we're here, uh, we're going to add a server and we're going to choose a Linode server. And we're going to accept uh, this login request. So server wand is pretty powerful. I mean, uh, you can do all kinds of things to manage your server right from uh, this dashboard here. Uh, you can see that we have uh, an AMD Epic 7, 7601 32 core CPU in our system, which is pretty nifty. Uh, we have uh, 4.14 gigabytes uh, of system memory. We have 83.99 gigabytes of storage. Uh, and we've been up for 32 minutes here. Um, you can update or you can upgrade your packages from from the dashboard right here, uh, as well as change your host name. Uh, you can schedule cron jobs uh, if you need to create a cron job, um, which is like super simple. It provides a nice interface for doing, you know, kind of the, the nitty gritty management like behind the scenes, um, as well as you can add system users here. So if we wanted to, we could have a user. Uh, we could say um, Gardner. Whoops could just use my name, provide any random password, give them pseudo privileges and even pseudo without a password uh, if we wanted to. Uh, and I believe you can even, once you've created this user, you can actually add keys, SSH keys, so you can log in without having a password. Um, authorized keys, yeah, see, there you go. So you're able to like actually add a private key here that you can use to sign in um, over SSH. Uh, there's also like firewall management, um, so you can like add or remove, uh, you know, firewall policies, uh, local mail server stuff. Uh, you can also view logs here, which is like super cool. Actually, I didn't even realize you could do this. <laughs> um, cool. And then there's also backups and there aren't any backups. And you can also manage some settings here. So you could clear SSH users, you can reboot. Uh, or whatever you need to do. So yeah, you can also create sites. If we click create and go to site, we can type in a domain name like linodians.net. We can put in, uh, we can choose our server, hit save. Authentication is required. So we'll require, we'll sign in here. We'll make sure we don't have DNS configured right now. We'll have to do that manually. But once we're in here, we can actually click on apps and go to add a Git repository and deploy 
a website from a Git repository, which is really handy. That's how uh, my company actually does most of our deployments nowadays. Uh, there's also WordPress, um, there's Joomla, uh, Drupal, Magneto, or Magneto, and there's Roundcube Webmail. So all of these are pretty great options, uh, and it, it's really cool that you know Server One makes this so simple to deploy some you know some of the most common uh, self-hosted applications out there. Settings we can enable SSL, and this should provision SSL for the server by itself. Setting up domain or setting up databases to be used by uh, you know any of our applications. Suffice it to say, Server One is a pretty handy little management tool. I think that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.